In today's videos, we are going to talk about an important grammar point, the subjunctive. In this video, we will discuss when you use the subjunctive, in the following video, how to form the different tenses of the subjunctive. Let's start with an exercise. What is the difference of meaning between God saves the Queen, God save the Queen, God save the Queen. In the first sentence, the speaker enunciates a fact, a statement, they use the indicative mood. In the second sentence, the speaker gives an order directly to God, they use the imperative mood. In the third sentence, the speaker expresses a wish, they use the subjunctive mood. The subjunctive is a subjective or hypothetical perspective regarding facts or opinions as they are desired, commanded, imagined, doubted, feared, hoped for, or viewed as the subject of uncertainty. The subjunctive does exist in English, but it is rarely used. The indicative or expressions such as may, might, would are used instead. Generally, the subjunctive is triggered in French by a word, adjective, verb, and so on, from the main clause or by the conjunction. The speaker does not have a choice and must use the subjunctive. Let's go more into details. We use the subjunctive in subordinate clauses depending on verbs that express wish, desire, or command. For instance, Je veux que tu viennes me rendre visite. I want you to come and see me. We also use the subjunctive in subordinate clauses depending on verbs that express emotions such as joy, sorrow, sh shame, fear, and so on. For example, je suis triste qu'il s'en aille, I am sad that he is leaving. The subjunctive is used in subordinate clauses depending on verbs that express possibility, impossibility, or doubt. For instance, Il est possible que je me trompe. It is possible that I am wrong. We use the subjunctive in subordinate clauses, depending on verbs that express thinking or believing, used negatively or interrogatively. For example, Je ne pense pas qu'il ait raison. I don't think that he is right. But, je pense qu'il a tort. I think that he is wrong. The subjunctive is used in subordinate clauses that express uncertainty or supposition. They are introduced by que, which means whether, or quel, quoi, qui, ou que, which means whatever, whoever, wherever. For instance, que tu le veuilles ou non, c'est le règlement. Whether you like it or not, it is the rule. Quoi qu'ils disent, je ne leur fais pas confiance. Whatever they say, I don't trust them. The subjunctive is used in subordinate clauses, introduced by certain conjunctions they can express fear, condition, goal, time, or concession. For instance, J'aurai terminé avant qu'il n'arrive. I will have finished before they arrive. Moreover, the subjunctive is used in relative clauses depending on superlative adjectives or seul, only, premier, first, or dernier, last. For example, C'est le meilleur film que j'ai vu cette année. It is the best film that I have seen this year. The subjunctive is also used in relative clauses with an indefinite antecedent. For instance, Je cherche un candidat qui sache parler allemand et coréen. I am looking for a candidate who can speak German and Korean. I am not sure that this candidate actually exists. Otherwise, I would have said qui sait parler allemand et coréen. Finally, the subjunctive is used in independent clauses that express wish or order that are introduced by que, which means may or let. For example, que Dieu bénisse l'Amérique, may God bless America. For other verbs, expressions and conjunctions that introduce the subjunctive, Check your textbook, pages 153 to 157, as well as your dossier. Watch the next video on the four tenses of the subjunctive. Au revoir.